Hey, what's going on guys? So this is a bit of a bit of a different video than I normally do. Um, but I wanted to talk to you guys about what I want to do on the channel um, with all those $5 games I got for Patreon. So like for the last two years, <laughs> we've been collecting a lot of $5 games. Basically, I have one of my rewards on Patreon is um, every month we buy a $5 game and I, I've had that set up that way for quite a while now. So we've been getting that $5 game every single month, but we haven't played any of them on, on here. So I'm thinking that I want to start playing two, that's two, <laughs> two or three of them uh, every month just to go through them all. So I'm going to go through the list of all the games that we have right now. And um, if any of them jump out at you guys as what we should play first, then we'll do it. Because I just want to start picking these and going through them until we get all caught up. So, let's start off here. So we got, first game we got is uh, Rayman, uh, Rayman Raving Rabbits, <laughs> or Rabbits rather. Never played it, don't know anything about it. We got MTV Music Generator 1. We did the first, we did the second one on the channel already, but thought it might be fun to do another one. Uh, we got DJ Hero. So we picked that one up actually with with the, the DJ pad. And uh, yeah, it was five bucks for that. So I've never tried it. Might be fun. Uh, next we got Cool Borders 4. I know this is not the original case because it's a long case here for a PlayStation game, but I'm not too big on Cool Borders, but it'd make a fun, like, one day video. Uh, next we have Sleeping Dogs. Now, I don't know anything about this, but a couple of my friends have said it's a really great game, so um, I'm kind of excited to give this one a try. Uh, next we have Dead or Alive 5. Now, I played a little bit of this just when I first got it to make sure it worked and everything was all good. I really hardly know much about it. We could probably go through the story, play a little bit, and see. I know that there's a couple other versions of it, so there's probably no one to fight online, but the game is there. Uh, Duke Nukem Forever. <laughs> That's another one that we we picked up for five bucks, and not much to say there. I, I know it's not the greatest of games, but for five dollars, like, I'm, I'm totally okay with that. Uh, next on the list is... Def Jam Rap Star. <laughs> I played this for probably about half an hour. It's kind of funny. Uh, I think if I do end up playing this one on here, it'll probably be with D because uh, she's into hip hop and she's super ridiculous. So um, D, aka Glamadon, will probably be wanting to play that one with me. So uh, next on the list, we got Dishonored. Uh, I don't know anything about this game. I have not even seen it, but. I heard it was good and it got it was five bucks, so picked it up. Uh, next on the list is Dead Island. Now you can even you can even see the, the sticker on it. <laughs> the sticker on it for five dollars. I don't know anything about this game. I'm not a big zombie zombie game kind of guy, so we'll see. See how it is. Um, next we got uh, Batman Arkham Origins. Now I've heard this game is great. I've heard all the Batman games for like PS3 are just really, really spectacular. So, I'm glad I got this one for five bucks. Uh, next we actually have Batman Arkham Asylum, and uh, we got the Game of the Year edition, five dollars, so. I think I'll probably have a lot of fun with both these Batman games if we get to them. Uh, next on the list is Infamous, and I got that for even cheaper than five dollars. If you look, it's like, $2.99. <laughs> it was it was dirt cheap. So I played the first maybe half an hour of this game. So I, I understand the gist of it, but I haven't really gone through it. Um, it didn't feel like it was something that aged too well, but you know, for five bucks you can't go wrong. Um, well, that was Infamous 2. <laughs> Here's Infamous the original. I was wondering because like I had I had the seal on it still and I'm like I thought I played this. But no, this is infamous too, we got infamous, so we got both of them for for, for five bucks. 
Five bucks or less is what I should say. Uh, next we got Hitman. Now, I don't know anything about the Hitman series. Um, I don't know how good it is, but... It's kind of a running theme with a lot of these games that I just, I have no, no clue how good they are, or what they're like. Uh, next is Grand Theft Auto 4. Now, I played about an hour of this, and I was enjoying what I got to play of it, but I've, I've never really sat down and played a GTA game, like any of them, all the way through, so... For $5, a GTA game is pretty darn good. Uh, I don't know... I don't know, like, if you guys want to see this one more than, like, Batman or something else, but it's a good game. Uh, next we got Heavy Rain. Now, I had, heard, I had heard a lot of great things about this game. I don't know how it plays or what it even looks like, but I've heard it's, like, super good. And we got this one for, for $3. <laughs> so... In case you haven't noticed, this is the time to get PS3 games, because a lot of them are dirt cheap. Uh, next on the list we got Virtual, Fen Pluh. Virtual Tennis 3. Now this game actually has like a story mode, and like all sorts of like arcade stuff to do. So it's actually a pretty solid game. Like I played it for about an hour on Twitch, and I had a lot of fun playing it, so I wouldn't mind just like sitting down and giving it an, a fair shake. <laughs> uh, next on the list is Virtual Fighter 5. I, I don't think I've even put this one in the system yet. Um, I don't know like hardly anything about Virtual Fighter. It's like the, the fighting series that just... I completely missed it. Uh, so next we have Uncharted 1 and 2. Uh, I want to add Uncharted 3 to the list here, but we, um, it's not five bucks yet. It's still like seven or eight, so I'm looking at it like, <laughs> I'm waiting. I'm waiting for it to drop those extra two dollars before I pick it up. Uh, next on the list we got Saints Row the Third. Um, I don't know too much about Saints Row. I played the good, maybe half an hour, just the beginning intro section of this one. But I didn't really like dive into the meat or anything of this game. Uh, one of my friends, Lizard, actually showed this game to me, and for five bucks, I mean, it's probably probably be pretty fun. Okay, next on the list is Resident Evil Six. Now, I played this two-player for about ten minutes, and it made me sick. <laughs> I it was. Oh boy, was that bad. It might be maybe better single player, but yikes. Yikes, this game is not the greatest. But for five dollars, maybe there's some fun to be had there. Uh, the next one is Lost Planet. Now, I don't know a thing about this either. Someone suggested me to pick this up, and I did, so... I can't really say much about it. I mean, it's a Capcom game, so I'm assuming it's pretty good, but who knows, right? Uh, after that, we got Prince of Persia. Now, I played a bit of this, just kind of like a puzzle solving, going around kind of game. I, I thought it was all right. Um, I might have to like really give it a good, you know, a good couple hours to really enjoy it. But uh, out of out of all of these, this one's I'm. Kind of not the most excited to play. It's kind of in the middle, towards the bottom for me, uh, for this one. And then last on the list is Metal Gear Rising. Now, we picked up Metal Gear Rising was the first $5 game that I picked up. And I got it for uh, $4 with all the DLC. <laughs> so if you want to see Metal Gear Rising and all the stuff within Metal Gear Rising, then A, hey, we can make that happen. So. Those are all the five dollar games um, that I have to show you guys. This is the video for today. Uh, like I said, nothing, nothing too crazy. I just wanted to kind of talk about these, uh, see how you guys are feeling about any of them. If you guys want to see me play any of these at all. Uh, other than that, I'm trying to think update-wise, like what else I want to talk about here. Um, 
I've tried playing some Overwatch on PC. I still have to get to level 25 before I can do any competitive stuff on that game, and I'm like level 10, because I like hardly played it. So uh, once I get to level 25 and that, I think that we'll probably come back on the channel with some Overwatch videos, uh, Overwatch PC stuff, as well as I'm thinking that uh, we might try to go to four or five videos a week if I can get these Let's Play things going, because I do want to do the NES reviews. Uh, I haven't forgotten about the Pokemon video that was supposed to go over the end of the month. I've just been busy with commissions, so I haven't had a chance to completely uh, get that done. But uh, the script is like 90% done. I just gotta write up, um, just gotta record the audio for it. Uh, I did all the the drawings and stuff already, and I've done all of the showing how to draw the katagana and hiragana. I've also done all the gameplay, and I wrote the song. So. It's just uh, like a good 10, 20 hours uh, worth of things to try and put all together. So I'm hoping that I can get it out next week. If not, um, I might just try to do episode two and three at the same time. And um, we'll just kind of try to like cram them all. And then maybe I'll put both of them out at the end of the month. But um, other than that, I'm trying to think what else is coming up for this channel. Uh, more NES reviews are coming up. I have about six or seven of those I want to do. And I believe... I think I've covered everything here. That might be everything. Oh, more Street Fighter, of course, is going to be coming up here. I probably want to do like three or four of those uh, just to get better at it. Because I'm still stuck in like the Ultra Bronze silver categories. I want to like step my game up to get to like super silver or ultra silver or even gold. I mean gold is the goal before Evo at least. Um, but other than that guys I think that's that pretty much covers everything. If you guys have any questions or comments or anything awesome like that sure to throw something down below and I will take care of all of that for you. Also uh, if you have not checked out my Patreon be sure to go down below and do that as well. If anything there interests you, then be sure to follow on there and give me money, I guess. I, <laughs> I don't know. I don't know where I was going with that. But anyway, guys, thanks a lot for watching, and I will see you guys later.